Hello everyone, I am back with another video and this time it is a sketchbook tour video. So I'm really, really happy that I finally managed to finish a sketchbook that I am showing it to you now as a video. The brand that I'm using for the sketchbook is Montmart. It is an A5 hardbound sketchbook. I absolutely love this sketchbook, even though it is not the best. It's not mixed media sketchbook and I still use a bunch of mixed media on this. But anyway, so I started this sketchbook in 2022. So I usually write that down on the very front page and I also just decorate it. But I finished this in January 2024. So it took a long time. And here is the first sketch that I did with Copic markers. And I even added my favorite colors that I love using for Copic markers. On the left side is a bunch of Cricut offcut vinyl. And you'll see a bunch of that just like pasted into the sketchbook because I really didn't want to throw it out. So it just became kind of like a decoration. I also like to journal a little bit in my sketchbook. In this one, I actually journaled a lot, but usually I will try to write on the left hand side because I don't like drawing on that side of the sketchbook. Here, I kind of started to think that I was going to turn the sketchbook into an illustrated cookbook because I was learning a bunch of recipes online at that time, but that was, that was the first and last. And then some more Cricut vinyl offcuts on this page, which is actually why she ended up having a heart-shaped hair. I also like to glue in a bunch of scrapbook paper because I have a bunch and it just adds a little bit of texture. It decorates the page. This one is actually one of my favorite page spreads in the sketchbook. The one, the black bar where it says pull, that is actually another Cricut vinyl offcut. I just added this onto the page very randomly and then it was still a blank page. And then when I got to this page where I needed to sketch something, I just worked around it. And this is one of my favorite page spreads. And here we have 20 journal prompts to figure out what you want from life. I actually never followed any of these journal prompts. And here, those dots are actually there because the illustration behind it bled through. So I kind of just wanted to cover up those bleed marks with some polka dots. So this is the page where it bled through. And here I also practice a lot of typography. So you can see that on this page right here. And this page on the right is an example of where I had an unfinished sketch. And a couple of months after doing the sketch, I went back onto it with like a bunch of markers just wanting to doodle. And I added like these random people that are people figures that are on top of her head. And I don't know why I did that, but I also am really surprised because it kind of looks creative. I don't also don't know why I chose those two colors, but this is another example. So it's just a bunch of random eye sketches all over the page. And then future me went back into it and added a bunch of these words also just playing around with typography. But yeah, I was just kind of like having fun. And that is something that I actually would like to do in my future sketchbooks where I can go back into a page with an unfinished sketch and just work on top of that because then I feel like I get to be a little bit more creative and I end up thinking outside the box because a lot of the sketches or the drawings that you saw in the previous pages, those are things that I would probably never would have thought of voluntarily. So yeah. Also over here, it's just a bunch of notes of the time when I was learning how to draft a bodice block for sewing, because if you didn't know, I actually do sew nowadays. It is something that I do professionally now too. So really, really happy about that because sewing is another one of my passions. And because I was sewing a lot, I wanted to do a lot of personal projects. So you can see here are some sketches that I did of things that I wanted to sew. But unfortunately, I didn't have a lot of time in 2022 to really sew a bunch of these things. I probably only did one, which you can see is the sketch on the right hand side. And this is what it would have looked like without the doodles on top of it. So it would have just been a blank page 
with a pencil sketch just plonked in the middle, unfinished. And here is another example. So this would have been like a, an unfinished sketch. And then in 2023, as actually when I added onto this page spread. So I added all of the words. I added all of the random doodles on the left hand side. And it literally says I added be creative because around this time I was feeling really creative. Um, and then we're back to 2022. So more sewing projects that I was listing down for myself. And I decided to decorate it in 2023 with some cute business cards. And I just literally just pasted them on there. I also just would you'd see a lot of um, scrapbook paper kind of glued all throughout. This page right here was actually what prompted me to get back into drawing. Believe it or not, this is a page spread of a sewing project, which I called Project One. And it is literally just a bunch of my thoughts written down because I've had a lot of personal sewing projects in the past, but unfortunately, because of work or life, usually those projects would need to be paused. And so after a couple months, when I finally had time to get back into the personal sewing project, I would just forget everything that I did. And unfortunately, I personally like to finish a project like, for example, if it's a drawing, like I like to do it in one sitting, but you can't really do that with sewing, especially if you don't have like all the time in the world. So you have to do it in multiple days. But if you kind of leave some time in between the project, personally for me, like I forget. So this is basically me documenting a sewing project that I was doing. It was a really big sewing project and I wasn't sure if I was going to be doing it continuously. So I decided to document it. But because of this, I started drawing like this little doodle right here, but majority of it is still literally just some writing and photos that I glued in. But yeah, just the feel of the paper under my hands and just looking through my sketches once again, it reminded me of how much I really enjoy drawing and this is what then catapulted me into getting back into art. So here I actually even like I wrote myself a note because in October I had to pause on the project. So I wrote myself a note being like this is what you're going to do after you get back. <laughs> and then Around this time, it was also close to 2024, so I wanted to list down a bunch of my projects. So even though the sketchbook isn't super art-related, it's actually more of a sewing sketchbook, I guess, because a lot of the pages are dedicated to this sewing project. But it's still, like, I personally am really proud of myself for doing this because now I am drawing once again, and I'm even starting a new sketchbook, although it's not really a new sketchbook. I took my 2021 sketchbook, which was unfinished, and I'm working on that now so that I can finish it and do a sketchbook tour. But here, this is the start of an art project that I decided to work on because I told myself I can't just work on a sewing project. I also need to work on an art project. So I started to sketch out ideas, and that is when I started to actually practice with gouache. So this is just the beginning right here. And I also was doing a lot of research because my word or my theme was nurture. So I was just looking up a bunch of things like I was looking up a bunch of flowers or things like that. This is where I practiced more gouache, especially when painting portraits and some Taylor Swift lyrics because I was listening to a lot of Taylor Swift during this time. And I was actually really struggling with how to use gouache and I posted a bunch about it on the YouTube community post tab. And so I would write down my gouache notes and literally like the struggles that I faced. And this one right here on the right, I did that one on the same day as this page spread over here. That first one did not turn out so well. This one right here turned out a little bit better. And then I got a bit confident and 
wanted to do another one to see if I could replicate literally the exact same thing that I did, but then it didn't work. And then I decided to try it again on this one, but then it just wasn't really working. And so I decided that I was just going to stop for that day. And it says gave up just a little. And then a couple of days after I did this one right here and I love how I painted the hair. This one turned out a little bit better. But what I was realizing is my facial proportions weren't up to par. Like they weren't looking as great or as as refined as I wanted them to. So I started practicing how to draw portraits again. And these ones I decided to also practice with gouache. So after I did a pencil sketch, I would then paint it with gouache except for the one on the left. I just left it as is. And I even wrote some Taylor Swift lyrics, but some more um, art project research. And here I actually have a video of this, but this is when I really started to hone in on the facial proportions. So I started sketching them and back to the project because this is actually when I finished the project and I even wrote down all of my final thoughts and what I was going to do after, but I finished it in Jan. 2024, January 7. But that is it. I can't believe I actually finished a sketchbook. It has been such a long time. Like I said, the last time I finished a sketchbook was in 2017. And I think that was also the last time I did a sketchbook tour. After that, I have absolutely no idea what happened in 2018, 2019, 2020, but I have a sketchbook for 2021 which like I said is unfinished and that is the current sketchbook that I'm working on so I can't wait to finish that one as well there's a lot of pages that are still blank on that one but I probably am going to do the exact same thing on that sketchbook as I did here where I will just go back into a bunch of the pages that have unfinished sketches and just draw on top of it or literally glue some scrapbook papers and just like start a fresh clean slate so yeah that is probably what i'm going to do thank you so much for watching this video if you want to see the sketches in video form that are featured in this sketchbook you can just watch them right here thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you in my next one